Hey everyone, it's Tuesday, August 11th, 6.30 p.m. I have a very special guest today. I am Robel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm from uh, the channel Walk, Ride, Fly. If you remember, um, I ran into him in March at the edge at the, on the opening day. Uh, so I think I know some of you guys, but for those of you who don't know me, I'm from uh, Walk, Ride, Fly. I'm a fellow walker from New York as well. Yep, let's go. And you should definitely check his channel out. He's been to some very awesome places. He's even walked through the tropical storms a few times, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. All, <laughs> all of them, I think. <laughs> like six or seven now total. Wow. Like with, uh, with two tropical storms, Isaias and Faye. Yeah, I think I lost about yeah. six, six umbrellas. You lost six umbrellas? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I think at CVS, they know me now. All right, call you one umbrella. Okay, another one. Okay. All right. <laughs> So um, we're in Washington Heights right now. I forgot to even mention the neighborhood we're in. Yes. This is um, Broadway and 167th Street in front of um, Columbia New York Presbyterian Hospital. We're just waiting for the light to cross now. Yeah, I think... Very busy uh, intersection. Yeah, most of these buildings are medical buildings. Yeah. Columbia basically owns this place. Yeah, owns the whole area <laughs> pretty much, yeah. You know, actually, they are the largest uh, property owners in New York City. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. That's just crazy. It I is. think after maybe um, the Catholic Church. Let's go before and, the light uh, I think maybe Donald Trump. Yeah, I think uh, they are one of the largest property owners. Last time I checked, uh, they owned 110 buildings in New York City. Wow, that many? 110. That's Columbia crazy. University. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that too. These colleges aren't really like oh, higher education no. companies. I mean, a higher education schools, but they're real estate. Oh, absolutely. It's a franchise, like a corporation with a lot of franchises, you know? Um, yeah, one of my friends says uh, Columbia is a hedge fund with a school. Really? <laughs> <laughs> It's a hedge fund to the school, you know, that just happens to have a school. <laughs> All right. I don't see any should cars we, coming. Should we do it? Should yep. we do it? Let's go. Perfect. It's the New York way. The New York way. You don't wait. You just <laughs> take opportunities and cross. All right, so we'll go this way. We'll head over to um, Sylvan Terrace and the Morris Jamel Mansion. I don't think Robel has ever been there before, so. Yeah, it doesn't sound familiar at all. You know, the thing about New York City is you can spend a lifetime here, right? And not be able to see all of New York City. And of course, you know, I moved here from California about five years ago. And, you know, the first couple of years I was in school, I was like, you know, I didn't get a chance to like explore the city. But later on, I realized, I mean, it's just there's so much to see. You think you saw something, you saw a neighborhood, and then later on, you realize, you know, when people tell you stories or when you um, watch a video online or something, you realize you have not really seen that neighborhood. And then you go back and see it again and then see new things. It just, the cycle just keeps going, you know, it just continues. Oh, yeah, especially. So, and you were here in New York City before the pandemic. You could see how exactly it changed since then. Yeah, so I came here uh, from, I was working in Seattle for a while. So I came here right before the lockdown. And I was able to see the whole change and shift and differences and so on. And I was able to walk around and record and just to see the difference in general. And it's, yeah, it's crazy. It just went from like normal, crazy, busy, to like absolute <laughs> I know yeah man yeah. and Robel here he actually has a video where he went to Times Square early in the morning during the pandemic and there's literally no one there yeah those are the type of things that just uh, make me worry you know if New York City is ever gonna come back because Times Square is the center pretty much the center of the city it's the heart of the city and you know I, I, I've been there at different times morning night midday you name it and 
going there early in the morning and not seeing anyone or barely seeing anyone on those streets like most recently it's uh yeah it's kind of scary yeah it is scary it is scary so yeah a few weeks ago i walked uh, on this street down this way and, oh you went down here yeah down that way it was kind of nighttime evening so you know i mean it wasn't long or anything um but yeah it was nice mm. i got to like walk down all the way to 162nd there's a like a bunch of people just hanging out you know having a good time oh by the way um this neighborhood has the highest dominican community outside of dominican republic Wow, I didn't know that. The, like, yes, I think last time I checked, I, the, the numbers might have changed, but at least 250,000 Dominicans live in this area, which is Washington Heights. Yeah. So, very interesting. Yeah, when you come to Washington Heights, this doesn't look like the downtown area of Manhattan that most people are expecting. Skyscrapers, and mm -hmm. all the retail stores, but here you got stuff like Food Market Corp, Rain Thai Bar, D Susanna Barbershop, and Susanna Discount. Are they related? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Probably like the same family. Like, hey, you buy this one, I buy that one. You yeah. rent this one, I rent this one. <laughs> hey, it Let's works. Let's get it going, you know? <laughs> yeah. Probably people who live in this neighborhood, you know? Yeah, I notice in these type of areas, I notice a lot of barber shops, um, corner stores, and what? Laundromats. These are the three things that I see um, in common, you know, outside of uh, Manhattan or Midtown Manhattan or Lower Manhattan. Because Lower Manhattan and you know Midtown, I mean, you see a lot of uh, corporations, uh, cafes, and restaurants. And different yep. things big tall towers yeah, skyscrapers of steel and, concrete and, and glass fancy buildings right and here you got places like this yeah, yeah most of these are uh, government housing or city housing yeah I think this is um one of them I forgot the name of it oh is it famous nah it's not famous but uh, okay. usually they clump together and one area true and i noticed that in uh, in the bronx as well they they would have like these uh, old buildings that house thousands of people and um yeah and they're like right next to each other it's just like in a very like small area you know you would have like thousands of people wow and you can tell like the, you know the buildings are very old and run down So what's shocked you the most since the pandemic hit? Oh, uh, for me, to be honest, you know, as somebody who's not from New York, one thing that shocked me is that New York stopped, like literally stopped, you know? Oh my gosh, this Ooh. guy almost didn't stop for us. Wow. You know, New York, New York literally just uh, stopped. And I thought it was going to be like very slow and progressive type of change. But once the lockdown was introduced, like two days or maybe like a day or two later, the whole city just stopped. Stores closed. You don't see people anymore. People left the city. And you walk around and you're like, oh my God, where did all those people go? Where are they? Oh, He's yeah. like, I would walk for like blocks and not see anyone. That was just crazy. I mean, of course, you see like, um, often you see like homeless people and so on. But aside from that, you just didn't see anyone. I mean, I understand that, you know, everything is locked. I mean, uh, closed and, you know, um, no one is working and so on. I understand that. But they could just, even the residents, you know, in those uh, high rise residential buildings, they were not there. They left. And that was just crazy to me. And you know, being from California, you think, oh no, New York isn't that, doesn't sleep, doesn't stop, mm -hmm. doesn't happen. That's true. It does happen, my friends. I wonder how California was at that time. Uh, 
but you know for California it wouldn't be too surprising maybe for LA yeah but like for the rest of California it's just it's not it wouldn't be too surprising because most of California is actually suburbs so you know people just stay home you know yeah, but yeah for LA and now. SF I mean it was dead silent quiet I think they were finding people actually if they uh, happened to be outside at some point mm. and it's crazy now that New York City still has the uh, quarantine for people who come here I True. think now it's up to like 36 states now and two territories yeah 14 days is that right yeah 14 days 14 days And you know, the other interesting thing about New York is walking from like a couple of blocks over to other blocks, you know, maybe like a few blocks away, it's completely different. Right? If we go down now to, <laughs> right? It is. A few blocks down or up, it's different. It's just, you know, but you know, the type of New York that, you know, the world sees is like the tall skyscra skyscrapers, um, you know, the like, the concrete jungle and just the line of buildings and so on but it's just very diverse it's very uh, different depending on where you go yeah you can see it even if you go downtown yeah. like Soho is next to Chinatown which true, is next to City true. Hall next to Fidei you can walk through all the neighborhoods in one day that's why New York City is like such a great tourist spot there's something for everyone yeah Yeah, even the grocery stores that you see here, you don't see them maybe no. like in Midtown Manhattan or Lower Manhattan, right? For instance, like Sea Town Fresh. I've not seen Fresh. this and here's in Manhattan or Midtown. Pharmacia, yeah. which is Spanish for the pharmacy. A lot of pharmacies, I noticed. There's a, there are a lot of pharmacies in this area. Yeah, that's another thing. The farmer, uh, farm, farmers, <laughs> pharmacies, Pharmacy, yeah. barber shops, laundromats, grocery stores, laundromats, yeah, and hair salons. You know, just in general. And it's what caters to the Dominican community. community yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I think these type of communities, uh, in my, as my understanding is that, you know, um, they know each other, you know, they're probably like from the same city or town, you know, back home. So, you know, when they come here, it's more like extended family, you know. Yeah, yeah. So they get to work together, they own businesses together, you know, um, they just life continues you know in general so that's what makes new york city great you have all these different Community. ethnic populations living inside the city it's not just you know a certain group of people in one area yeah you walk to washington heights you go to the dominican neighborhood you go to south bronx is african-american and puerto rican yeah you go to flushing is asian and is it true that Queens is like one of the most diverse boroughs in the oh, city? Oh yeah, it is. Right? The <laughs> area around Jackson Heights, Corona, uh -huh. and Elmhurst yeah. has so much diversity there. You can walk from one block to the next and it'll go from the little Him Himalayas to Mexico. <laughs> wow. And you don't even need to fly or use a passport. And you can literally find like any cuisine from any ethnic group, right? Yeah. If you wanted to. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, Anthony Bourdain did a video there, right? In Queens? Yeah, I think right? so. Or the Bronx, or both. Yeah. So, yeah, he was showing, like, the most uh, diverse neighborhoods in New York, and one of them was, like, you know, um, the Jackson Heights area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as they say, if you don't find it in New York, right, you can't find it anywhere else, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> And there's also the saying, if you can't make, if you can make it in New York, you can yeah. make it anywhere. Anywhere, absolutely. So you can tell this is all residential now. Yeah. Saint Nicholas Avenue. These are all old buildings Very too, old because building. if you look, the fire escapes tip you off because back then they required all these fire escapes to be installed there was an incident called the triangle shirtwaist factory uh -huh. and a lot of people died in there and it was a tragedy so where did it happen where was it? 
It happened in the area right around NYU. Oh, the Greenwich Village. Oh. The building's still there. You can go to it. It's not named the uh, Triangle Factory anymore, but. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. But as you notice, I mean, most of these buildings are like really, really old, with some exceptions. Oh yeah. Probably like 20s, 30s, maybe. Mm-hmm. Well, when we go to um, Sylvan Terrace, uh -huh. you're going to see some really old stuff. Oh, worse than this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like colonial era stuff. Era. But I mean, you know, sometimes you see those old buildings that are like well kept and beautiful and nice, right? Mm -hmm. But you go to these types of areas and you look up and you're like, hmm. You know, we just passed it. Oh, we did. Yeah, we were supposed to go. Uh -huh. It's like two blocks oh to, to the, the left right. oh to the right yeah oh, okay. this place is so hidden oh, i see yeah you know let's cross the street so we get it yeah it's easier yeah. yeah absolutely but yeah we passed it by two blocks and and then just go back yeah that's fine i mean it's a good experience it is and it just goes to show you that if you don't know where it is even even if you know where it is it's easy to pass up because the entrance is that well hidden. Is there anything coming? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit uh, on the fence there. Yeah. Because, I mean, sometimes, you know, they, they think that you're going to stop and then you're like, no, no, no. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to continue. More barber shops. RO unisex. Mm. You know, I've also noticed that the barber shops are slow now. It's really sad. Yeah. Because, I mean, there has been stories where some barbers were open during the pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. Without um, without notifying anyone, of course, you know, just under the table. And uh, a few people caught the, you know, the virus because of that. Ooh. I remember there was a story of this uh, barber in the Bronx who spread the virus to like 12 or 13 people. That's crazy. Yeah, they didn't find out until later. But, oh um, man. Yeah. I remember like, you know, Cuomo specifically men mentioning that story. I mean, I understand, you know, some people got to eat, you know, they, they have to pay bills, right? And if the assistance is not coming, you know, they're, they're going to be forced to you know, work and pay bills and whatever, you know, because the bills don't stop, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's a nice, a nice dog. Nice dog, yeah. I don't know the name of that dog. Uh, I was gonna say pug, but the pugs are the other one. Ah, uh, I forgot the name. They look but, like uh, hairy pugs. But I know George Bush had uh, the same dog. That's how I remember that dog. I feel bad when I name dog species now because if I'm wrong, people correct me. <laughs> like the police dog. At Lincoln Center, I said it was a German Shepherd, but it ended it's up being a Labrador, Belgian, right? Belgian uh -huh. Mal Mal something. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know they used those. I, thought I didn't even know either. And, like German Shepherds. <laughs> <laughs> I guess but it, it looks like a German Shepherd, but oh, it's, it's, it's from not. the same uh, family. Oh yeah, they get offended sometimes. Like, no, this is not that breed, and they just like correct you on the <laughs> spot. I'm like, oh okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Yeah, that's the downside of doing narrated videos. If you say something, <laughs> then your audience will hear it and be like, nope, that's not a German Shepherd. That's a, not a German Shepherd. Belgian. <laughs> I don't even know what it's called now. It's, I know it's Belgian something. <laughs> All right, it's here. You see the entrance? Oh, wow. I see it right there. Oh my god. It was hidden behind the truck and around the corner from the ah, supermarket. That makes sense. It does not even look like an entrance at all. I mean like Yeah, it's not Hopefully it's open. Uh, these are nice though. The buildings yep, it, is. it is? Awesome. Should we go? Right. After you. Nice.
Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, I told you. It reminds me of a uh, small city I visited in Colombia, Pueblito Paisa. I don't know if uh, you have viewers from Colombia. They <laughs> might know it. Place this doesn't remind me of New York at all. This reminds me of like Europe. It's very clean too. Hello. How are you hey. doing? Good day, boy. Take yes. Yeah, right. it's so beautiful. I know. He's never been here before. I've never been you. here before. You know what it is? Yeah, it's the yeah. old um, Sylvan Terrace. It's the Sylvan Terrace. Yeah, but it was a uh, built 1882. 1882. And then it was uh, a hunting spot. Mm. Uh, just, you know, something different. I'm one man, put up a lot of money, and uh, Okay. It looks very yeah. yeah it looks, looks very great. different. And it's, distinguished. It's historically preserved. It's yeah. great. Well, for the most part. And a lot cleaner too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. See, like this is this is one thing about New York. Something pops up up out of nowhere. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you find something out of nowhere, you know? <laughs> and over here is the Morris Jamel Mansion. It's closed It's though. closed now. Yeah. I've been here once before. I see. Supposedly it's haunted too. It's what? It's haunted too. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. But here you can see the uh, plaque here. George Washington used to be uh, in this place. That's interesting. Yeah. It's too bad we can't go in though, but. I believe most of the museums are still closed, right? None yeah. of them are open. They're probably not gonna open anytime soon. Not anytime soon. Something smells around here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in the fall, there's this one tree which stinks mm -hmm. so bad when the leaves drop i forget uh -huh. the name of it but oh in this area or just no in general? no in general uh -huh. there's so many of them yeah that's why I, I like i don't enjoy spring as much unless i like look at the trees from far you know <laughs> <laughs> like sometimes you just get this like weird smell yeah. and people are supposed to pick up after the dogs but Sometimes True. they don't. <laughs> Sometimes they don't. They just walk away. There used to be pick up after your dog signs all over New York, but they, <laughs> they got tired of that. Yeah, they maybe. got tired of it and <laughs> said, you know what, it's not needed anymore, so we'll take it all down. <laughs> but it's still illegal. Oh, it has to be. See, like, we went from like that sort of like chaos to absolute quietness I right? know. within a block i mean where do you get that exactly yeah there's no uniformity in new york everywhere is different and i guess for you guys i mean you're used to it right i mean growing yeah, up here yeah. and so on but for us like we see those things you know for, as an outsider somebody who uh, moved here from somewhere else we're able to see like the distinct differences quickly. There's no light here at all. Is the park our next stop? Yeah. Nice. We're gonna go into the park now. It's a really nice uh, trail in there. Probably a nice view too, I see. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. It's a little bit of a view. Oh my gosh. He decided to go and then the car speeding around the corner. You know, the other thing that I noticed in New York is drivers don't give priority or ways to uh, pedestrians. Oh yeah. It's just, it's so unbelievable to me. Like they get pissed off, you know, which, which is so uncommon in California. In California, sometimes even if you're jaywalking or something, people don't get mad. They just like, oh, go try ahead. to stop for you. You know, let you go. Yeah. Actually, the path is in there, but somewhere in there. Maybe we can try that way. 
I think we can uh we can climb over this. Sure. It's not an issue. Action kid adventures. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you got to go all the way all down, the way there down and yeah. come here. You grew up in the Queen, in Queens, right? Yeah, I did. Nice. Now I got to figure out where it is. There's a lot of rocks here. I'm surprised. Yeah, it's way up in the hill. I think the entrance actually goes over there and it goes down. Down that way? Okay. Yeah. Let's look over this cliff here. I don't want to fall down though. Wow. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's down that way. The, the path is down there. That way. Yeah, no yeah. worries. We can walk that way and go down. Yep. You don't want to be like Goku from Dragon Ball and yeah. jump up down there. I don't know what I found. What is this? Oh, wow. It's like a speaker? I don't know. Oh, maybe a lighter. Ah. It is a lighter. Ah. Uh, the Good. things you find in New York. In New York. <laughs> Weren't lighters illegal at some point in New York? Or? Um, I think I heard a story like that one yeah. time. And I know like knives and stuff are illegal in New York. Oh, yeah. Like even the short ones. Like the pocket knives. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow, we can't go down this path at all from here. Oh, I guess we have to like go over the fence and then go all the way down. No, I think I, the entrance is down another few blocks. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Can't go down here. All right. Let's climb over the railing and then walk I guess down. they have some parties over here, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now I gotta change the title of this video from walking to climbing. Climbing, exactly. Action Kid Adventures <laughs> in, the, in Washington Heights. Climbing with Walk, Ride, Fly. Walk, Ride, Fly, that's right. We're using the flying cushion now. And now <laughs> you know, yeah, what's his name? 4K Wanderer from uh, Toronto. Yeah. He's like, yeah, he mentions that, you know, the, the flying part it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I'm like, you're right, you know, because it's just like, I can't fly anywhere. That's <laughs> true. So I like I should just keep it maybe walk ride, you know, walk and ride. It'll come eventually, don't worry. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean I could technically technically go somewhere, but I just Yeah, yeah. I'd rather wait. <laughs> One thing I have to talk about is the litter over there. There was like tons of plastic bottles and Oh, yeah. yeah. I have noticed, yeah, some neighborhoods, it's just, uh, it's really I, I don't bad. know, I don't know if, like, the sanitation funding is different for the neighborhood, maybe, that, you know, sanitation trucks don't come as often, maybe, I don't know what, what the case is, but yeah, I noticed in some neighborhoods, like, literally, there's, like, so much litter just, like, everywhere. It is. Yeah, and people just don't even care, they just walk around it, they just add to it, you know? So I, I don't know, I don't know what the reason is. I mean, it could be because uh, the sanitation trucks don't come as often or people just don't care. Yeah, I think from here, the beginning of the path to uh -huh. the end of the high bridge, it's gonna be like another 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Minutes, oh, I see. Yeah. yeah, whatever okay. gets us there. Yeah, we gotta walk all the way down there and then come around. <laughs> oh, I see. But I think you're really gonna like this. The views are yeah. epic. Yeah, it looked amazing. I wanna try to go through this kind of quickly opening. because the sun's going down. Uh, you know, whatever works for you. I think, uh, what time is it now? We have. Uh, Sunset is around 8.30, I believe. Yeah, yeah. 7.06. 7.06? Yeah. Oh, we got time. There's plenty. 
I mean, whatever works for you, because um, yeah, sunset doesn't happen until maybe like eight. So, whatever works for you. Yeah, the lighting over here is kind of poor. So. Okay. Nice. When was the last time you came here? Um, I would say about four or five months ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. Actually, no, it's August. I was, I was thinking in like February I came here, so that's like six months ago. Six months ago. Yeah. I don't think there's any part of New York that you haven't visited, is there? Yeah, there's been. I haven't been to most of Staten Island yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Staten Island, I haven't been to some parts of Southeast Queens, um, some areas in like the more obscure parts of the Bronx. Yeah, South Bronx, I, I thought about it, but it's just, uh, I heard it's not, <laughs> it's not the safest neighborhood. Well, it's okay. You just got to like be careful, be aware yeah. of your surroundings. You True. Know? But I think daytime, I think it should be fine. But nighttime might be different. Yeah. <laughs> I knew this guy, this old guy, Dominican guy, and he goes, oh, don't come there at night. He's like, don't come to South Bronx at night. He's like, <laughs> never, ever. I generally don't like to go out at night, period. Yeah. Not only is more crime more um, common at that time, but yeah. my camera doesn't work as well. <laughs> the lighting's horrible for the optics. True. Yeah, I did a couple of walks at night um, in the past couple of weeks, uh, but you know, mainly like on. Uh, major avenues in New York, like 8th Avenue, 9th Avenue, 10th Avenue, 11th Avenue. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was okay, you know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't too bad, but of course, you know, Port Authority, Penn Station, oh my God, it's just, yeah, it looks unsafe, especially Port Authority. I sort of like, you know, was recording and walking quickly, <laughs> just <laughs> looking at my surroundings and just making sure, you know, nothing happens. This guy is bringing his bike down here. Not the best bike to bring down here because it's skinny wheels. Yeah, that's not a trail bike. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a city bike. <laughs> oh, nice. I mean, it's not the best bike to bring here, but yeah. it's not their bike, so. Exactly. <laughs> Who cares it, if it works? You, know? <laughs> you just just put it back. <laughs> Now my bikes can head on this trail easily. They've got wider tires. And oh, nice. Yeah. I just hope that uh, we don't have any issues with like down trees because of that tropical storm. Yeah. Have they started cleaning it in, in your area, at least in Queens? Mm, Queens? Slowly. Oh, uh, okay. Queens? You'll still see like branches and twigs off to the side. And Everywhere. Hasn't been collected, you know. I think Queens got hit pretty hard, right? Oh yeah. Very hard. But look at this tree. It looks like it's fallen over like 80% of the way. Ooh. Just doesn't want to give up. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how um, Central Park was during that, that storm. Yeah, yeah. I That's wonder. what I wonder too. I. I should have gone there. I like wanted the to go after. there too as well, but I was just I got tired of changing umbrellas and <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah, literally no like, more umbrellas left. <laughs> like even the stores are like, no, we're out. <laughs> it's just sold out. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. It's like a dumping ground. Jesus. It's horrible here. Yeah, a lot of masks everywhere. I've counted like so many masks now. I mean, here you have this beautiful area. This trail and yeah, nice people part. just destroy like this. God, like gloves, a lot of masks. I think just people party here on the weekends or something and then... Yeah, they must come here and do yeah. some like shady stuff. I see a lot of bottles too, like uh, beer bottles, liquor bottles and so on. So beautiful though. Look at that side. Yeah, yeah. 
Hey, look, we're going to walk under a tree soon. They're even bringing a dog here. That's right. What really bothers me, though, isn't too much the litter, but all the broken glass. If you uh, step on that thing and, like, yeah. your shoe has a hole in it. Oh, yeah. That could be like a big problem. A different story. Yeah. It's very nice though. Like, yeah, despite this, all this the garbage split. in half. Ooh. Man, this 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 could just go down any time. Oh, like this yeah. could fall on anyone anytime. <laughs> Literally just like look at this side. It's like almost that. gone. It's probably your most dangerous walk yet. Exactly. This is uh, Action Kit After Night Edition. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Late Night Edition. <laughs> and if the tree falls on your head. Exactly. See? A lot of bottles. Mats. Yeah. Yep. Bottles, broken glass. Oh, a lot I don't of I don't want needles. Needles are even worse. Whoa. Yeah, thankfully I, I didn't see any any needles so far. That should scare some. I've got a flashlight on me too. If we ever need to use it. No. Oh. Nice. It's probably one of the best things I carry with my on myself when I do walks. Because you never know when you might need it. Need when it, the absolutely. lights are off or if you're walking like on the side of the road with traffic very close to you. True. Oh, look at that. We got to go over the tree. Oh, we got to jump. Are Walk, you guys, ride, fly. Are you guys jump. ready for this? <laughs> <laughs> We're only going to show this once. Exactly. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. <laughs> There's no redo. Oh, did you hear about the uh, uh, blackout on uh, the Upper West Side? Oh. oh, go ahead. On the Upper West Side the other yeah, day? Yeah, yeah. I did. It, af it affected everyone, like, early in the morning. Yeah, I think about, about 80,000 like, people, maybe. Yeah. It didn't last too long, though. Maybe like an hour, maybe? I don't know yeah. how long it lasted, but... I oh saw a highlight on, on the news. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Adventures coming up. Now we got cyclocross going on. All right. My gosh. Walk, ride, fly starts. <laughs> yep. Here we go. See you all on the other side. My turn now. You can make it, action kid. I gotta go. Boom. Nice. Under the tree. I think my backpack caught the back of that tree. Nice. So beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. This is all raw and unedited, folks. This goes on the record. Now the other part of this trail is paved. It's not like this. That one's the nicer section. And I think over here is the nicest part of the um, the on trail section. You're gonna see why. Yeah, I've mostly been uh, walking in the city, of course, because I'm just fascinated about architecture, buildings. Yeah. You know, uh, all that stuff, design. So I don't walk on trails and like nature stuff areas <laughs> as much, but. I do love um, Central Park. I walked there in the rain. Not a sunny day. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. If you want to snap some pictures, now's your chance. Nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that color on the sky at the bottom. Nice. Yep. You see the Harlem River down there, and then there's the Bronx. Yeah, I believe most of those buildings are community housing, right? Yeah, city housing. City housing. Like they're very distinct, you know. Like their color is distinct, the design <laughs> is distinct, and then usually like a lot of um, because of the air conditioners out by the windows. Yeah. You know what? I think we should end the video here because my battery is going to die out. Okay, no yeah. worries. But let's get another panorama of this, and then nice. we'll sign out. At 8% already, so. Alright, everyone, if you enjoyed the walk today with our very special guest, Walk, Ride, Fly, make sure to check out my page. I do walking videos as well. I think I know most of you, but you yeah. know, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Robel. Thank you. Alright, take care, folks. Subscribe, hit the, hit the like button, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Close the door, please.